Hi, Robert Anthony here for Tuts Plus. Battery 4 from Native Instruments is one of the best drum sample plugins for EDM on the market today. In addition to shipping with a huge sample library, Battery 4 includes some great internal audio effects that you can use to sculpt, shape, and otherwise mangle your audio samples. In this tutorial, I'll explain the internal effect modules built into Battery 4 to help you get the most out of this great plugin. Now, before we get to the effects modules, it's a good idea to have a basic understanding of the internal audio routing inside of Battery 4. There are three different effect stages in the signal chain where effects can be applied. The first stage is at the sample cell level. Each individual sample cell has its own dedicated effects chain accessible by clicking on the effects tab here with a sample cell selected. The second stage where effects can be applied are on each of the four buses. If you select the master tab and select on one of the available bus channels, each bus has a dedicated effects chain. This effects stage will process any sample cells you send to the bus on top of any effects that are already applied at the sample cell stage. And finally, the master output has its own effects section that will again process any sample cells and buses you send to it on top of any previous effects in the sample cell or the bus stage. Now that you have an understanding of the three stages where effects can be applied to process the sound, let's have a look at each effects module in detail. Now, there are some shared features that all of the effects modules have in common inside of Battery 4. These shared features all act the same across all of the effects modules. In the upper left, the power button activates and deactivates the associated module. Right next to it, the preset triangle opens up the preset menu dropdown to apply factory settings. This is where you'll also access any presets that you save. The handle in the upper right corner allows you to rearrange the modules in the signal chain by dragging them left or right. Keep in mind, the effects modules in Battery 4 are set in series from left to right. So rearranging the order of the effects with the handle can drastically alter the sound in unique and creative ways. Any rotary parameter can be reset to a default value by double clicking on it. And a value can be entered numerically by double clicking on the number below the rotary. On any effects module that has a mode selection, like the saturation, filter EQ, and the compressor, a mode can be selected by either using the selection arrows to the left or right, or by simply clicking on the name of the currently selected mode in the middle. So the first effect stage is at the sample cell level. Again, each individual sample cell has its dedicated effects chain. Each effects module can be used individually or in combination with other effects. So by default, the first module is the saturation. The saturation module has three saturation modes, classic, drums, and tape. You can control the amount of saturation for the selected mode with the gain knob and the amount of output with the output knob. When using the saturation module in tape mode, you have two additional controls. The warmth knob controls the amount of low frequency boost or cut, and the HF knob stands for high frequency, and this controls the amount of high frequency roll off, that is, attenuating the higher frequencies, or turning them down. Using this can give your drums that vintage, warm, and kind of muffled sound that you hear sometimes. Next is the Lo-Fi. Lo-Fi module is used to decrease the resolution and sample rate of the incoming audio. The Bits knob is used to reduce the bit depth of the audio, while the Hertz knob will reduce the sample rate, which can go all the way down to 50 Hertz. The Noise knob will introduce some noise into the signal and the color knob will adjust the frequency content of the noise. Reducing the bit depth by a fractional amount will add a lot of dirt and grit to the audio, 
This can be useful for static effects, like grunging up a snare hit, for example. The filter and EQ module has various types of filters that you can use to shape and sculpt the sound. The mode selection lets you switch between different EQ and filter types. Below the frequency display, depending on the selected filter or EQ, you can either select the frequency band to adjust, or you can select from different styles of filter or EQ. For example, the effects filter mode has different styles of filters like formant, phaser, and so on. The compressor module lets you compress the dynamic range of the incoming audio and can be used to add punch or tame out of control transients. The compressor has three different types of compressors selectable with the mode selection menu. The new solid bus compressor, a classic compressor, and a pro compressor. Each compressor will add a different sound character to the audio. The threshold and ratio knobs are used to set the level at which compression takes effect and the amount of compression applied, respectively. Attack and release adjust how fast or slow the compressor kicks in and turns off. The mix knob available on the solid bus compressor lets you mix between the processed and unprocessed signal. This is a unique feature, and you may have sometimes heard this referred to as parallel compression or New York style compression. TM stands for Transient Master and is a slightly trimmed down version of the Transient Master component available for Guitar Rig. Transient Master is basically a simplified compressor designed specifically to control the transients or the attack of a sound. The two main knobs are pretty self explanatory by design. The attack knob controls the amount of attack or transient added or taken away. And the sustain knob will sustain a portion of the sound's volume, which can be used to add body. If we switch over to the master effects chain, the master effects chain, as well as the four routing buses, have some differences from the sample cell effects specific to mastering and summing down multiple audio sources. For example, when routing multiple sample cells to a single bus. In place of the lo-fi effects module, the bus and the master effects section each have a limiter effects module. A limiter is an extreme form of compression that restricts the dynamics of an audio to an absolute level. 
This can be used for making quiet sounds louder or making louder sounds sit well in the overall mix. The compressor effects module in the main tab also has an additional sidechain compression mode that can be used for internal sidechain compression. You can drag a sample cell into the source selection area to use that sample cell as the trigger for the compressor. So if I play a long audio file and I trigger the sample cell that I've set to be the source, you can hear it triggering the compressor and affecting the audio routed to that bus. The Master Effects page also has a reverb unit and delay unit that are hardwired into the dedicated send and returns built into each sample cell inside of Battery 4. You set the delay and reverb settings and return amount globally. Then you can dial in the amount of send on the selected cell's main tab. Again, keep in mind that the delay and reverb settings are global, meaning that the settings are the same throughout Battery 4. You can, however, control the send amount on a per sample cell basis. The reverb module has a modes toggle icon that switches the reverb between standard mode and convolution mode. Standard mode is an algorithmic reverb that uses mathematical algorithms to emulate an acoustic space. While convolution reverb uses what's called an impulse response file, that captures the acoustic characteristics of an actual acoustic space, such as a concert hall. In standard view, you have basic settings that you can use to shape the size, pre-delay, and color of the reverb. You can also control the dampening of the high frequencies and the stereo spread of the reverb. In convolution mode, you can use the arrows next to the display to select one of the presets. You can also drag and drop any WAV file onto the display to load it as an impulse response. The delay module is a simple yet flexible delay. You can sync the delay tempo to your host with the sync selection menu. The feedback knob lets you set the amount of delay feedback. Now, the time knob would have been better named as a pre-delay, as it sets the time between the dry signal and the delay taps. The pan knob acts as a stereo spread between each consecutive delay tap and can be used to create a ping pong type delay.
The damp knob reduces the high frequency content of the delayed signal. The higher the setting, the more high frequency content is reduced. So it should be apparent that the world of processing capabilities possible in Battery 4 is pretty vast. These internal effects modules in Battery are a great way to add interest to your sounds, be it drums or otherwise. Keep in mind, you don't have to use Battery just for drums. These effects, combined with the internal audio routing capabilities, make Battery 4 an almost must-have addition to your EDM production studio. This is Robert Anthony for Tuts Plus. Thanks for watching.